Greetings to my beloved radio listeners today. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. We thank God today for another day that we are in this place called Earth. Truly, I know I'm grateful. I'm thankful that certainly my name was called and not my number. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> so absolutely, what a blessing it is. And thank you all that have tuned in today to listen to this broadcast today. We really have uh, two special guests in the studio with me today, and you'll be hearing from them shortly. One on the first segment and both of them on our second segment of the broadcast today. So without further ado, I just want to thank all of you that have tuned in. I want you to keep it locked right there for the next 60 minutes of this ministry broadcast. You don't want to miss anything that's going forth because we truly have a great program that is going to be going forth today with my guests today. So with that being said, um, without further ado, what we're going to do is, uh, you know, we never, ever start a ministry broadcast without welcoming the spirit of the living God into the midst to bless this uh, broadcast. Absolutely. So with that being said, I have one of my guests that is sitting right here in the studio with me to my left. And uh, this is uh, Apostle Wanda Jones. And I'm going to have her open us up with a short prayer. And then we're going to go forth with a ministry discussion on our topic today so if you want to uh, know what it's about do not turn the dial okay all right wanda God if you give us all righty father in the name of jesus Lord, we come before you today. We thank you so much for this day that you've given unto us, Father. We rejoice and we are so glad in it. God, we thank you for covering us as we slept through the night and allowed us to awake this morning, God, in our right minds. Lord, we just give you honor yes. and glory. Yes. We ask that you continue to bless our country, Father. Yes, Con- continue to bless the leaders and even those that are afar, Father. Yes. We ask that you bless. God, let your blessings and your mercy shine upon Ukraine, Father, mm. and those that are at war right Right now we ask blessings god for highland park and those mm. that were victimized so, by the mass yes. shooting god we ask that yes, you continue lord. to strengthen them father yes, and so we ask it all in the name of jesus we say that it is so in jesus name amen amen thank you apostle wanda jones for that You're welcome absolutely so what we're going to do is for the next uh, 10 or 15 minutes we just want to expound on a topic that um uh, pretty much on my ministry this week we were talking about it encouraging yourself in the lord encouraging yourself in the lord and so for those of you out there that know you're just going through oh my goodness your finances uh just going through spiritually mentally emotionally physically and all this going through yes you need to know how to encourage yourself in the lord by giving it to him and watch God work it. You know what they say, if you work the word, the word will work for you. So truly, that's what it's about. So Wanda, let me just ask you this question. Uh, have you ever been in a situation that you was a little depressed or anything? I, I have. Um, I've, I've been in situations that, you know, I've, I've felt um, down and, and, and maybe discouraged in yes. that. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have. I'm not exempt. Exactly. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes. So what did you do to come out of the wilderness? <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah, come out of the wilderness. Well, you, you know what? I, I'm a I'm a big uh, proponent of, of self-encouragement. Um, you know, I don't necessarily have to compare myself to anybody else because a lot of times, you know, I was listening to the opening song that came on. It could have been me. Mm-hmm. And one of my favorites, I love that song, is on my workout uh playlist mm-hmm. and i almost just run off the treadmill every time it comes through my <laughs> my headphone but but yeah it could have been me but i don't have to look at anybody else's situation and think oh god i'm thankful that you know that's not me i can look from where god has brought me from yes you know my own situation my own such uh, circumstances mm-hmm. and and i thank god that i'm not there Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm encouraged by the mercy and the grace that God has shown me. I don't have to compare it to anyone else. I can look at my own circumstances and what God has delivered me from and the grace that God has had on my life. Uh, and that's encouraging all by itself. You know, like, okay, Wanda, get yourself up because you <laughs> used to be this person. You used to do this. Uh, so I won't allow myself. 
as my mother would say from Mississippi, don't waddle in it. You know, <laughs> yes. you gotta you gotta be from the country to understand that. Understand that. I know Mr. Humphreys <laughs> understand that. <laughs> but uh, so I won't allow myself to wallow in that. I'm 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 grateful for the mercy of God uh, on my life, mm-hmm. and and you know, it, it's it's just an amazing. So I I find that encouragement. I, I dig deep to get myself out of that wilderness uh, just to be remindful of who I used to be and where I used to be and the things I used to endure and what I went through. And even when I come across, you know, Paul says that this light affliction is uh-huh. just for a moment. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, but God has always given us a way of escape. And so I just said, Lord, although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death mm-hmm. in that wilderness that you described, mm-hmm. I fear no evil because he's with me. Mm-hmm. And so I'm grateful for that. Absolutely, Wanda. Thank you for that because Truly, like I said, I think it was Thursday night when we had this session on uh, my ministry line, and that's what the topic was. Encourage uh, yourself in the presence of the Lord, yes. encouraging yourself. in the pre- So I thought about a few things. I was like, yes, I remember when I got married for the first time, thought all that was great. And truly, uh, did you choose the right person? No, sure didn't. <laughs> 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 and you had to go through all that. <laughs> and because of just the things that they, you know, when someone does something that is truly uh, not right yeah. and put you into it. So, yes, and now when you marry the next time, yep, go through it again. Like, oh, my goodness. The thing you weren't doing was praying the right prayer. That's okay? right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> sure that, oh, yeah, Lord, yeah, we need to get back together and all that stuff. Yeah, you picked the wrong one because you're not asking. You were, you was not asking God, oh, God, please send me my bow ass, the one that you want me to have. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. You're just uh, sending someone. You, you're just asking him to send back the person that pretty much it probably gave you some headaches anyway and you still dealing with them thinking it's oh we'll get this will get better this we'll get through this and then all it does is get worse yeah and so then you uh end up at the divorce court so that that be about that so it's truly it's just like when you're going through with those things whether like some people are with their uh drug addictions uh, pill addictions and alcoholism and anything else that they're going through so many things out there that you can really be going just really be depressed they taking medicine taking pills to stay woke all day pills to go to bed at night everything because they're truly depressed really Mm -hmm. and truly it is about them really just giving it to god but a lot of times people don't realize that prayer is the key and god is our source yeah but they don't think about doing all that it's just like well let me just try to get something else so i can at least go to bed and i don't have to think about it yeah. and so if i put enough of this in me i'll just sleep peacefully and i don't it won't even bother me about what's really going on in my life for those people that really are going through so it's it is all about us really uh, uh, being encouraged in the Lord by when we give all our burdens to him mm-hmm. uh, what will he do mm-hmm. that what he will do is simply this he will fight your battle for you yeah. because that's what we're supposed to do give it to God because you're going to continue to be trying to work things out you know you're going to get beat up by Satan yeah. I wouldn't even try to waste my time with it you better give all your burdens to the Lord and leave them there because it, Satan is out to kill, steal, and destroy. And what you was about to say, Wanda? Yeah. Well, I, I, and you're absolutely correct. The one thing that we've got to realize as the body of Christ, you know, we, we oftentimes want to incur all of whatever it is that we're going through. We want to take ownership of it. We want mm-hmm. to take responsibility mm-hmm. of it. And, you know, the scripture talks about renewing your mind, mm-hmm. you know. And, and, you know, I did a teaching not long ago on the difference between being saved and being born again. Yes. And, and, and you know, sometimes we think it's simultaneous or that it's, it's the same thing. And it's ne- not necessarily, you know, the Bible talks about being saved in Romans 10 and 9, that if we confess Jesus as Lord, we believe it in our heart Mm -hmm. and we confess it with our mouth that we are saved. Mm -hmm. But born again is a renewing of your mind. Oh, yes. And that's when you begin to allow God to navigate, to travel, to, 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 to change your life because you put everything, like you said, you gotta, you gotta trust him. Mm -hmm. You know, when we say we accept Jesus as Lord, Lord meaning master, that means we are enslaved to him. 
Mm-hmm. We are we allow him to 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 navigate our lives. We give it all to him. And sometimes he don't do what we think he ought to do. It doesn't come when we think it should come. It doesn't happen the way we think it ought to happen. But if we're allowing God to be Lord of our life, because that's what we confess yes. when we got saved. <laughs> but there's a born again peace mm-hmm. because you're when you're born again, there's a transformation. And and so then you change. You you're not the same. You don't think the same. You don't go to same places. You don't talk the same. And so when there's a transformation, when you're born again, your new nature now mm-hmm. is is of Christ. Yes. Then you are, you <laughs> allow yourself to submit to the Lord. You allow Him to be Lord of your life. So wherever He goes, you know, all of the depression and the sleepless nights and things like that, there's not intended by God. And so if we just give it to him, we see, we'll take a bunch of pills and go to bed and have a good night's sleep and wake up in the morning and still be in that same mental exactly, place. Exactly, that same Nothing's state of mind. Changed, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And when you truly mm-hmm. just give it all, all to him, and like, okay, Lord, this is not my problem. This eviction is not mine. This this repossession of my car is not mine. This loss of job is not mine. This child that's gone wayward is not mine. This crazy husband, this is not mine. This is your child. This is your husband. This is your house. And when you truly, re- you know, you just re- receive that and you, you believe that, you just believe like, like God, just pre- like you said, just put the scriptures in your heart. Just remind God, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm a lender, not a borrower. I'm above only. And I ain't never need your word say, you know, and truly allow him to do it. And I, I believe that the joy of the Lord would continue to be your strength. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know, one thing you just said reminded me of a friend of mine, uh, well, at least one of my sisters in Christ. One day we was on the line and, and she came on the line just like, I am so mad. I am so mad with God. Mm. And and so I was, I was just like, oh, that's where I got to be careful. Don't call nobody name. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I am so mad. And she say, God did not uh, bless me with the money I needed to uh, take to the um, wherever she something with her rent, uh, mm. her, her mm. Uh, contract being renewed, mm-hmm. and she needed that money to pay for that. And then she didn't have it. So she just was saying, I am so mad with. God. God. Mm. I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. Now, you know what? You know good and well, you need no have no better coming on this line. How much you so mad with God? Girl, don't you know God will bless you in His timing? Mm-hmm. What do you mean you mm-hmm. mad at Him? Like, mm-hmm. cause, because you don't have the money. Most likely, she could have had the money earlier and spent it on something else she shouldn't mm-hmm. have spent it on, mm-hmm. like like that, okay? Mm-hmm. So she just was saying, well, I got to find a way. Somebody got to help me. Mm-hmm. Somebody got to do it. So anyway, while she was on the line, somebody came in her house, and she's still talking to them while we mm-hmm. she on the line, and they told her that they had the money to give her so she it was like fifty dollars she needed or something mm-hmm. and he said he gave he said you better go pay the people now you better not use that money for nothing else now mm-hmm. and she's like okay okay mm-hmm. i won't use it for now i'm gonna use it i'm gonna go down there and pay them people i i really am mm-hmm. so it was i guess it was her um cigarette man that gave her the money <laughs> <laughs> But you know, um, sister, <laughs> princess. Yeah, I, I'm li- I, yeah. I listened to what you just said, and I listened to what Miss Wanda said, and something came to my mind that I have to make a uh, make I was just about of. to call on you. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 you know, this is what our problem is. Our problem is that we, is that we do not know how or when to let go and let God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, we ask for things, and we ask God for things, but guess what? We get in the way. Yeah, oh, of course. And then, you know, once you get in the way, you're going to block the yeah. lesson that God has in store for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so the, you start to complain because you're not going to get what yeah. you ask for yeah. because you got in the way. That's mm-hmm. right. So and not only that, Donald, <laughs> not only that do, do we get in the way, but the Bible says we ask, but we ask amiss. Yeah, we right. ask with wrong motive. Like yes. you're talking about your friend that was asking <laughs> yeah. for, the, for the money. But, you know, and she mad at God, yeah. you know, yeah. and I don't know why she needed it, but, but you know, so she, she, she asked for the wrong reason. She asked for the wrong reason. And God's like, I'm, no, I'm not, not going to be a part it. of that. <laughs> That's, what That's it is. right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. That she was going to you because, yeah, she, 
She comes on the line being bold, talking about, oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. just because I smoke two packs of cigarette a day, uh, don't be trying to come down on me like that. I was like, oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she sure do. But, yeah, Donald, that is the way it is because we do have to give it to God. You are, you have that so right. And I, leave it there. Mm-hmm. Leave it there. Don't go back. You know, if you truly trust God, leave it there. In this segment, uh, Donald, how, what's the uh, number of minutes left before we go to commercial break? What, would, what do we have? We have 10 minutes to go. Okay. Got 10 minutes? Uh-huh. Okay. So we'll say a few more, and we'll be about to close out this segment so we can get ready for part two. Yes. So with that being said, yes. Uh, Donna, you have any other comment before we go forth? No. Uh, no, I just wanted to make that statement mm-hmm. there because, you know, uh, and there's another thing that be careful what to ask for because yeah. you will get it. Yeah. Absolutely. Asking yeah. God for things, you will get it for yeah. sure. Yeah. But you have to ask, as the sister said, you have to ask in earnest. You have to yeah. ask in with good, you know, grace and gratitude because this is something, it's not necessarily what you want. Yeah. What's what you need. That's right. You know, it's a need. God right. answers to our needs. Yes, he does. He wants. does. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That is right on key. That's right on point, Donald. And he if, will. If, if I may add something, I also feel mm-hmm. like you have to be very specific in your prayers. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. and, and like you all said, let go and let God. We are our own worst enemy sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know? We are. And so mm-hmm. uh, what I've learned, like Apostle Wanda said, growing up in Mississippi, is that once you know who you are Come and on. who you belong to, you can act accordingly. <laughs> you know, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now. That, that, so that is right. All. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's true. Oh, you can act accordingly. That's yeah. right. That's Absolutely. right. When you know who you are. Absolutely. So that is truly about encouraging yourself uh, in the Lord because, um, you know, sometimes like some people that are in a hospital, uh, rehab centers, and, you know, they're calling you and you, you, you're praying for them and trying to encourage them to say, okay, now you, can, you need to pray as well and, uh, and watch God work it out for you. Mm-hmm. And so, that, so I was just saying that on the line the other night and um, somebody else, else was just saying, you know, we're just talking about the part of just encouraging yourself Mm -hmm. in the Lord and almost like stopping it right there. But I said, no, it can go further than that by we doing that. And then they start praying and guess what? uh, Next thing you know, they're not just uh, mumbling a little bit. You actually can hear them talking real good Mm -hmm. and and God has revived them. I'm Mm -hmm. telling you, Mm -hmm. they're sounding good. And all of before you could even get nothing but a whisper from Mm -hmm. them. But so when, God takes control and, and uh, breathe a breath of more life into you mm-hmm. as he did when he first created you. And then you like become a new soul anyway, mm-hmm. a new person anyway, to know that, yes, God is working this out for me. All I had to do was give it to God and look what he's doing. Mm-hmm. So it is a blessing, though, when we can encourage ourselves in the Lord by the right The right ingredients. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (laughs) The right ingredients that we put in us. First of all, get some word in us. Start praying. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) And do what you got to do. Be a just uh, trust God. Read the word. uh, Stand on the promises of it. uh, Have uh, unwavering faith and just believe that. Know that He's gonna bring you out of this situation, out of this mess, whatever you put yourself in. Because truly certainly have put myself in something (laughs) yeah and you know one of the other things i want to add to what you're saying princess Mm -hmm. is that you know we got to be careful who we share things with oh yeah you know you got to get the naysayers out of your ear Mm -hmm. you know um our 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 words have power no yes and and, you know we want to make sure that Mm -hmm. you know we're speaking life into our circumstances and we want to be with people Mm -hmm. who are being encouraging and speaking life we got to be careful you know when we go through, sometimes you don't need to get on the telephone, but right. just you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, but but I but thank you. I better not get, get one of them get, phones. Don't don't get one of them phones. <laughs> just 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 get before the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where your 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 your, your solutions are. You know, uh, and and like you said, get in the Word. Get in the Word. Get it. Saturate yourself with the Word of God, even until you know you might not comprehend it or even believe it in your mind but your heart just keep just just keep 
in the word, in prayer, stay before the Lord. Don't get with these naysayers and sister girl and Pookie mm-hmm. and Ray Ray Nim. Don't 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 do that. Get before you the Lord. To, you mean to tell me Ray Ray still around? Yes, yes, yes. Ray Ray, my buddy. So yes. But Absolutely. you know, I don't need to talk to Ray Ray. I need to talk to God. I, that, Cause Ray Ray is not going to encourage me, and, and you know, but God Ray will. Gonna bring you down. Yes, he will. Yes, he will, girl. I wouldn't go through that. Okay, see. But yes, get before the Lord. And I Jesus. hear the devil is the prince of the atmosphere. Come on now. But God will never leave you nor forsake you. That's what I'm talking about. Now, that is the God no yes. truth. He sure won't. He got us in the palm of his hand. Absolutely. Truly, if you're your child of God, he really do. He got you in the palm of his hand. Yes. And you know it's nothing too hard for God. Nothing. Nothing at all. And nothing. what a blessing it is. So with that being said, I know these guys probably look like telling about moving around here. But just about to close it out, just my... Um, Sisters and brothers in Christ out there in Radio Land and all that are listening, we just hope that you were listening today what we were saying about encouraging yourself in the Lord. If you're out there right now or sitting right uh, at your house and you're on the sofa, at the table, whatever you're doing, this is a time right now. Don't be walking around moping and just like, I give up. I throw in the towel. Nothing is gonna work. Everything just been a, a, a flop. I'm just I, I just don't know what to do. Well one thing you wanna do right now is start praying to the Lord and say, Lord, I give you all my burdens, my cares, my situations, uh, my finances, all that I need. I need another car, Lord. I need this or need that. My husband is doing this, the children are doing this. So Lord, whatever it is, give it to the Lord, because the battle is not yours, it's the Lord. So give it to God. You think you can walk around with all that and work it out? And it it comes to where you need, where everything falls in place, where you better think again. Because I remember just a few days ago, like this lady that was 96 years old says, look at here, with all this stuff going on in this country today, look at here, God is not, God is not at all joking at all. Mm -mm. Because if you continue like this, Till I tell you right now, have, uh, hell is smoking and waiting on you. Mm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. It sure is. So you better think about it. <laughs> yes, it's real. Think about it. Think about it. And get yourself together if you want to go to heaven. Except Christ is your Savior, truly. Because he paid the cost all way thousands of years ago for whenever God was going to send you from heaven to earth. So it's already done. All you need to do, accept Christ as your Savior if you have not. And think about that. That's right. You want If you want to go to heaven, please accept Christ as your Savior and get on the right pathway right now in Jesus' name. With that being said, we're getting ready to go to commercial break. And we'll be back in about three or four minutes. Amen. Gospel 